Um, I don't know if you. No black pudding. <laughs> I don't know if you saw this. This is coming out of uh, New York. And I wanted to preface this or preface this with the idea that, of course, we all know the migrant situation, the illegal immigration situation in New York has exploded. Mm -hmm. Uh, Several of them were arrested for beating up police officers. There were, of course, you know, robberies happening. New York's got its crime problem aside from that of robberies Mm -hmm. um, in retail and, of course, subway systems terrible i would i don't want to go on a new york subway at any point i hope not in the future and that's terrible too and you know i think there's an argument for this but we're gonna have to see first lewis the nypd has a dance team (laughs) now um we're gonna get copyright stricken for the music but we'll have to mute that so try not to talk during it we'll play a bit of it here How long is this done? <laughs> so, long, obviously that wasn't a good dance. Let's just leave the screenshot up for a bit here. Obviously that wasn't a good dance. Um, one to two of these women are not overweight. They're supposed to, they're police officers. Um, and I got to bring up uh, uh, some of the co- <laughs> comments they have, Lewis. But what do you think? Like, is this a situation where, you know, it's fine. They're off duty. They're doing this. Or are there some jobs where you don't think, you know, kind of like the nurses doing TikTok during COVID. Are there some jobs where it's just like, we don't want to see you doing this because of, we want to portray a certain level of strength in an occupation. Well, that's, that's literally it. There's one thing about a police officer that makes TikTok videos in their own time out of uniform. But there's one thing dressing up and making it the NYPD dancing group. Um, you know, you know what's going to happen, though? Someone's going to take that and then someone's going to cut and it's going to be throwing like these women in like a bar fight or something. And they're having to tackle like uh, a really horrible scenario. And it's going to be the, the drastic like the standards <laughs> have really dropped here in the in the public services. To be honest, this has been going on in Britain way longer than it's been going on in, in America, strangely. I don't know why. I think standards are dropping. You see it in the army, especially the British army. The British army is really bad. Um, really, really, really bad. Um, but it's just this push for DEI, push for ESG, and this is the result of it. This is the result <laughs> of DEI in action. Um, and it's it's almost trivializing. New York is not safe. I'm sorry to say it. New York is just not a safe place. Oh, yeah, and that's going to improve safety. Just, uh, I'm sorry. I don't even know what to say. I mean, there's not a lot I can really add to this other than this is this is dumb. Why are we doing this? Can't we just... We need to we need to show show brute we're well not brute strength but strength at least within our forces in order to tackle crime and protect the community. Surely that's the fundamentals, not going around dancing on TV shows. And <laughs> well, what's interesting is I don't know, is anything else to add? Oh yeah, what's interesting though is that they're you know they're women in their thirties and their forties and they're still you know. Uh, der- deriving themselves or, or breaking themselves down to the point where all they're doing is a poorly choreographed dance like 12 year old girls did in grade in seventh yeah. grade and everything to a song that was yeah. probably playing when they were in their club days and they're not even doing it well but yeah. their quotes here are pretty interesting this is from abc7 new york i'm just answering 911 jobs all day all day all day out of roll call until it's time to go home, said NYPD <laughs> dance team vice president Laura Peg- Lauren Pagan. Uh, Music is amazing. Got a president. <laughs> yeah. And when I get to sit here and just listen, even if it's the same song over and over again, it's a nice place to be. Everybody here loves to dance. Isn't that something to say about the NYPD? She hates her job as a New York police officer so much that she's saying <laughs> it's better to go into a, da- a sweaty underground dance studio with a bunch of plus size women 
sweating listening to the same song over and over again, and she would rather do that than take your pathetic 911 calls that another homeless person is taking a dump on your footsteps. Can't you deal with your own crime problem, New York City? We've got pit bull dancers, sorry, flow rider dances to get to. Can't you do this yourself? Make no mistake, <laughs> like police work, this is not all fun and games. It's a com- You're comparing dancing to police work. <laughs> It's a commitment with a I'm regular sorry. schedule. They practice two to three times a week. <laughs> Look, I just, I, I hate having to do this. Okay, I hate having to, um, I, I hate having to reiterate something like this. But even if it was dudes, if it, this was like an NYPD, like guys dance off or whatever, obviously that would raise questions. But of course. It's just it's just not appropriate. I don't see that as appropriate, considering how much of a how much New York is in a mess right now. I mean, there's little literal rats coming out of sewers, <laughs> like like infesting like the the city, like and and they haven't got time to. Well, they've got time to make TikToks and you know, obviously this isn't on TikTok. This is on a this is on a, a TV show, but. I, I've got nothing to add. I'm sorry, mate. I'm just... <laughs> this is DEI in action. Well, if if you had a plethora of fires that were going unattended to, you'd be like, why are the firemen posing in their stupid calendars? <laughs> but there isn't, yeah. you know. I had yeah. a talk with both you and I know Dave the other day, and mm. uh, he said, what percentage are firefighters actually firefighting? It's got to be like 1%, right? And mm. if there was these fires raging out of control, you'd be like, what are you guys doing, doing calendars yeah. and all these firefighter games and stuff? Exactly. But there isn't. The fire game is pretty much under control, except for, you know, bad things that happen here. Or then if there was one shooting in New York a year, you'd be like, OK, things are pretty good here. Let them have fun. But like you said, this isn't the top priority. New York is not a bastion of safety. Um, the Ninja Turtles aren't there. Batman's not there to save them. It doesn't seem to be going too well, and it's just not a good look. Just like the nurses with the balloons during lockdowns, the hospitals are overrun. You don't know what to do. You got to wear a mask, but let's choreograph this TikTok video for the next three yeah. hours. Turn it up, Jordan.